Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Learn with Hello, Jason. Hello, everyone, and oh, no. welcome What's to happening? another episode of Learn. All right, that was terrible. I had uh, I had some echoes. Holy buckets, did that so, work? hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Learn with Jason. Today on the show, we have Maggie Appleton. Um, Maggie, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I'm excited to be on this. <laughs> yeah, and I, I appreciate you coming back. Last time we tried this, we had some technical difficulties. I was trying to do it over hotel Wi-Fi, but today <laughs> we're back. I'm I'm hardwired into the the into the internet. Like I I have faith things are going to be good. <laughs> I'm not quite on my my streaming machine yet. It is sitting over here and not working yet, but I'm going to, it's, it's going to happen. Like you just, you just stay tuned. Um, but so, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, Maggie is the artist behind Egghead's, uh, amazing course artwork. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Egghead, Egghead is this, uh, wonderful service for learning. So, um, as you kind of scroll around the homepage, you're going to see just incredible artwork by, by Maggie. Um, let's look through the courses here and see what's what's happening. Um, so like, hey, hey, here's here's mine. I love this one too. This is a, a, a really fun illustration of, is this, is this wallpaper? Is that the idea? I don't know what I was thinking, but it was something like, yeah, yeah uh, colorful cards folding down onto a composable Gatsby theme. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's it's just so much fun. Like it's such a, such a good time. Um, but yeah, so today what we're gonna do is I've had this terrible idea, right? Uh, I've, I've been kicking around this idea because I have a group of friends and we do a regular, um, we call it the steadily escalating dinner party, right? Where we, it started out as like, Hey, we're going to cook dinner. Do you want to come over? And then we realized that like Joel hooks, who's the, the founder of Egghead or co-founder of Egghead and his wife, Christina are incredible cooks, like really, really good. And so when we went over to their house and they cooked dinner, we were like, Oh no, we have to like really bring our a game. So we invited them over and we're like, all right, we're going to like do something good. Um, and all of this has kind of evolved into this, this steady pace of uh, Joel and Christina and our friends, Matt and Leslie, having this regular dinner party where we just kind of try stuff out, cook this, this ambitious stuff. And we were sitting around talking about fun ways that we could, uh, that we could riff on this idea. And one of the ideas that we came up with was a spin on Secret Santa that we're calling Secret Sandwich, where um, you would basically, you would be able to take uh, somebody's name out of a hat and then based on some, some rough information about that person, you're going to build a sandwich that you would hope they would see as the sandwich made for them and, and select it out of a, a lineup. Um, if you watch the stream uh, about a month ago, Marissa Morby came on and helped with the UX workflows for this. That was a super fun episode. Definitely go check it out. Uh, but today, what I thought would be really fun and, and what you so graciously agreed to is to help us come up with kind of an illustration or a logo for Secret Sandwich. Mm -hmm. um, and so with that, I want to hand it over to you. So how, how would you want to kick this off? Right. So, um, yeah, I love this idea of the secret sandwich. And this is a bit of a more fun uh, concept than not that the AC, I've been, done a lot of the egghead um, course illustrations like you showed on the screen. And I call them illustrated logos because there's something in between a logo and an illustration, mm -hmm. which is kind of like my my vibe. Yeah, because uh, some logos, you know, all are very black and white, blocky, geometric. It's not full illustration, but it's kind of can, can work at like 200 pixels if needed. Sure. Um, so I'm thinking of that in that the secret sandwich logo is going to be that sort where we put it as a, a header on the website, but also will work as an app icon sort of thing. For sure. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to run us through the same process that I use for all the egghead course illustrations. I love it. Um, Should I switch over to your screen? <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can get, so I have a, I'll actually I'll show the iPad first yes. so that everyone knows what tech we're working with, because I know that question is going to come up really fast. <laughs> so I do all my sketching on this lovely little device, uh, which is an iPad Pro. Uh, and I have an iPad uh, Apple Pencil, world's most expensive pencil. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I'm literally, uh, and I'm working in an app called Procreate, um, which is, oh, and then the screen flips if you turn that, that happened last time too. Uh, an app called Procreate, which costs like, I, don't, I forget what it is, $10, something in that range. It's incredibly cheap and it does 80% of what Photoshop does. Mm. It's fantastic. They should charge a lot more for it. Um, but yes, I'm going to be streaming from my iPad to here. So can we get 
Should I do anything or do you think? No, nope, it's, it's all set. We're now looking at your oh, cool. iPad. Oh, really? Okay, great. I can't see it, but uh, that, well, I can in real life. So <laughs> I know, tech issues already. Okay, so this is, <laughs> uh, this is uh, what I have is a, a canvas here. Uh, it's enormous. It's it's uh, like 5,000 pixels. So I just have to, like to have infinite space to work okay. in. Um, and I really push the limits of what Procreate can manage. It freezes on me sometimes. Um, but, you know, I, I just, I like having infinite zoomy space. Um, it, people are going to ask about this. Infinite zoomy <laughs> space. I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> That's, um, you should see my Adobe Illustrator artboards, like, uh, get frightening. Just <laughs> 20,000 pixels of iterations forever. I, I didn't realize it went that big. <laughs> yeah. You can really push it. Um, and what we're looking at here is my um, brush um, library. I know people always ask about that too. I really use like three or four. I don't even remember where I got them from. I think half of them were defaults that came with the program that I then just tweaked over time to like make fit what I wanted. Mm. Uh, I have one called Pencil In. I think I came up with that name. <laughs> Which looks like a pencil. <laughs> One I call brush pen, which looks a bit like a chunky uh, calligraphy brush. Um, and then I have a little, little shader, but I, I use very few of these. Um, I don't really put a lot of stock in the brushes, but um, yeah, I just have favorites. Um, so yeah, so let's start off with, uh, I find it's always a good idea to write the title of what you're doing at the top of the page. Um, oh, that's big secret sandwich oh there we go. that got a bit pixely oh and are you to, to hit to undo i'm tapping with two fingers i want to make sure whoa that's... is that for real oh my god yeah. that's so if i tap with three and then if i tap with two and it'll go back like 50 like it's really good that's okay anyway. i thought you had to like use the pencil <laughs> to tap that little uh the little like reverse hook thing that's okay. Oh, well, all right. This is already, yeah. you know what? <laughs> We're already paying dividends here. <laughs> Do you want to see an even cooler magic trick? All right. I'm going to show you the double tap on the pencil for the, for the pencil eraser switch. Oh, no. So you can see I'm drawing with my, my pencil here oh. and now I want to erase. So I double tap on this and now I'm in eraser mode and then I double tap again. And now I'm back to pen. You just blew my mind. I know Apple is somehow good at design, despite their their iPhone releases despite, for the last five despite years. Despite their best efforts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Uh, all right. So we're gonna just we're gonna do step one now and write the title: Secret Sandwich. Okay. Lovely. Okay, so the first thing I do whenever we have a, a big main concept like this, um, and usually my main concepts are things like uh, state management and Angular um, apps or um, streams with RxJS. So this is a lot easier, <laughs> uh, which is why it's going to be fun. Um, the first thing I do is I come up with two to three core themes, like uh, the essential things about this that we're trying to communicate mm -hmm. through this logo illustration. Um, and with this one, sandwich feels to me quite important. I think, yeah, you're probably, <laughs> I feel like you're onto something probably here. On track. Uh, sandwich is the first one. Um, secret, of course, mm -hmm. but um, secret is interesting because it could have, did I spell that it's right? It's really oh. interesting spelling. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is what happens when you go on a live stream, right? You can't spell <laughs> I, secret. I find that this is hard for me if I'm like attempting to type, but I'm explaining something as I'm typing it. I'll start typing whatever I'm saying <laughs> instead of what I meant to type. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> this is why live code demos always fail. You just like forget how to spell React. <laughs> <and spell it. laughs> um, so secret is an interesting one because it could have all kinds of meanings, right? Like secret can be anything from NSA cryptography to like mysterious magician. Mm -hmm. um, or like secret so agent. So that's one of, the... yeah, yeah. yeah Ecomath um, in the chat is talking about the secret squirrel. Um, super secret secret squirrel <laughs> was a, a cartoon for those of you who are not ancient. I feel like that was probably on in the 90s. <laughs> it might have been American too. It was definitely American, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was it like a Rocky and Bullwinkle type thing? Sort of, yeah. It was. I, I believe cool. it was like same same suite of of cartoons. I actually don't remember almost anything about it. I All just right. remember the Other squirrel itself. 
<laughs> I, I once photoshopped the hat onto myself. That's like what I remember about <laughs> Secret Squirrel. Well, when we get to the photo references and research part, we're going to Google that. So <laughs> <laughs> good, um, good, good. Um, so other themes, right? Secret Sandwich, obviously. Um, you mentioned it's very like bringing people together yes. and like fun community. Mm -hmm. So I want to do something with like community. Um, I don't want to use the word togetherness because that sounds a bit lame, but uh, community, warm, happy, fuzzy feelings. Mm -hmm. um, are there anything? Hmm, I'm trying to think of others. Yeah, I mean, we're it, there's like a, an element of um, kind of creation or um, or like guessing, uh, so kind of a game, like a gaming aspect, um, oh, yeah. where we're. Mm -hmm. There's the um, surprise. Definitely surprise because you know you're the the idea of the game is that at the end of it you're going to look at a table full of sandwiches and you have to try to identify the one that you know really identifies you as a person. Like if I was a sandwich, which one would I be? Um, so I think that's <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah a surprising question. Um, no, that's good. Okay, they seem like good keywords to start with. So we're mm -hmm. just going to be now exploring yeah um so this is the mode where we go into what i'm going to relate to call it like improv okay um where now we're just going to openly brainstorm all sorts of things related to this and there's no wrong answers um and you want to use yes and thinking instead of no but because we're going to come up with a lot of stupid things that don't relate to the main topic and mm. will seem really tangential and irrelevant um but that's sort of the fun of of exploration and play is you're just sort of mucking about and then at some point you stop and look at what you've written down and go all right what do we actually make something useful for this? sure and and chat please get involved in the the brainstorming part yeah um yeah um because this is the interesting thing is i usually do this alone mm. so it's just like my associations and we all come with our own cultural background and baggage and we all come from very opinionated places about what we think sandwiches are um, and so I'm really curious to brainstorm with, with you and with everyone in the chat to be like, when you think of sandwich, like what immediately pops to mind? Because the, the it's going to be different from what I think. Chat's already going. We got rocket launchers from John Lindquist. We've got pierogies from Tomas. Uh, and then Tomas is trying to... I don't know how to spell pierogi. Uh, P-I-E-R-O-G-I-S. Um, and then Tom... I've already lost it. What was... P-I-E-R-O-G... I S. I S. All right. And then uh, philosophy is a taco a sandwich? Is a hot dog a sandwich? Um, taco, hot dog, <laughs> uh, burrito. Oh, geez, you're. Um, oh, we're gonna. So, the, so this is actually. I should explain what I'm doing. So what I do is you you put your main keywords at the top, and then I'll okay. tend to make very very long word lists off. Okay. Those. So that's what I'm starting to do here. It's like under sandwich, I'll make a whole ton. Under secret, I'll make a whole ton. Mm, a hero um, sandwich. Hero? I don't even know what that is. Hero. The hero is, uh, that's like the, um, like the oh, kind the of like on a baguette one. with, you know, yeah, yeah kind yeah. of like a. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you just have that giant stacked sandwich, right? That's just got like a thousand layers in oh, it. Oh, is that a hero? Now, I, now I'm trying to. Is that? I don't know now. I'm, I'm doubting myself. Giant sub sandwich? <laughs> I... Yes. Something like that, uh, you know, because you know how it's like a cultural trope when you just have like the many, the many layered sandwich that has like four burgers on it. Oh my god! And, like, I, two chicken wings. I I know that this is like, <laughs> it's just it's incredible to see how quickly you made something that looked like a sandwich. <laughs> cool. I hope that this. Okay, this is not the standard of work. No, no, no. Yet. But this is great. Like it's it's just it's always very fun to see. Um. Okay, so we've got more. We've got more grilled cheese. Oh, good. Uh, Ooh. Let's see, somebody said bacon. Um, a sandwich inside of a sandwich. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna write meta sandwich. Meta sandwich. Okay. Um, things that I think about would be uh, deli meats. Um, Ooh, yeah. What to what to add as as veggies? Um, let's see. I always try to think too of like surrounding context around things. Mm. So like what occurs in the same space and time as sandwiches. Oh, interesting. So kind of like prep. So uh, you you have your loaf of bread, your produce. Um, 
the the implements that you would use so like a, a yeah pickles tomatoes lettuce um knives uh <laughs> the the big mac sandwich um lunch uh oh a fun a fun aside here while we're writing all these things down i was just in india and uh, i went to a conference there it was called react india and while i was there i was in the airport for like 16 hours or something i had this horrendous layover and i went to a mcdonald's while i was there it just kind of walked by it and looked in and saw the menu and it was that i i kind of forgot about the whole thing um like the the religious connotations around beef and so i looked in and i was like that big mac doesn't look right and so i walked in closer and i looked at the menu and it was like a chicken big mac and so of course i had to buy it right and it was it was so so different from anything that i've ever had at a mcdonald's before it was delicious uh <laughs> that's one of my favorite like not like cultural stories but like mcdonald's manages to uh culturally customize their menu to every single country mm. that they serve in and so like so like i i went to um i grew up in southeast asia so i would move around different countries and see uh, mcdonald's change in every single one and like you know in high school i you know go eat the crap yeah yeah stuff. Um, but we had like really, really good, like spicy chicken zinger sandwiches in Singapore and you could only get them in Singapore McDonald's. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah. And like, there's a paneer burger in India, uh, and they customize. Per oh, I anyway. wish so, I would have like, seen that like paneer burger. I love, but... <laughs> I, I, paneer is like my favorite thing I get. Uh, I eat, <laughs> I eat vegetarian when I go to Indian restaurants because I prefer <laughs> paneer to other meats. Like it's so good. It's really good. <laughs> uh, ooh, a good one in the chat. A big toothpick with a flag on it, like to hold the sandwich together. Ooh, that's yes. a good one. Toothpicks. Um, um, or those like little plastic swords are fun. <laughs> I haven't seen the plastic. Uh, swords, it's a, but I'm right yeah, there. it's a yeah. They're like these neon colored uh, plastic swords. Uh, yeah. Crust. Some... Oh, crust. Ooh. Um, napkins, tablecloth, like a like a picnic basket. Ooh, picnic basket. Um, Cocktail swords. That's what those are called. Ah, I'm going to write. Ooh, well, we can break out the eraser. Look at the magic of digital. <laughs> I don't even need to cross things out. I do that all the time. I'll like scribble it out and later be like, I have an eraser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cocktail swords. Um, uh, lunch boxes that made me. Oh, yeah. Um, see, this is the funny thing is like, over here in the UK, we have um, uh, uh, to-go sandwiches, like in Sainsbury's and Tesco's, which are like grocery stores, are like the thing. Like sandwiches are associated universally with like the little triangular plastic right. to-go lunch things. But I don't know if that's in the rest of America and things like that. Only in like airports. Like the the oh, triangular yeah. like pre-cut sandwiches, I, I don't see those in yeah. a lot of places except airports. Yeah, because America's more the, the the wrapped sub, right? Yeah, yeah, like like big wrapped sandwiches. You know, we we want our we want our portions big. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, okay, that's a good that's a good starter list. Yeah, that's good. Um, okay, so now secret, and we want to go. You know, less NSA, more fun, mm -hmm. surprisey, dark. Um, yeah. Think of so. Yeah. Spy mystery. Mm -hmm. um, I think of magic tricks and like revealing ooh, and hiding. Melted wax seals on envelopes. Like you have to break the seal to see what's inside. <laughs> That's a clever, a good one, Dave. Um, <laughs> what were you saying? You had one. Um, I said black boxes, um, mm. reveal and hide. The, yeah, question marks. Um, oh, yeah. What about those like silver domes that you would like see at a fancy restaurant where they kind of put the dome over the food? Oh, um, I forget what those are called, but I learned because I had to draw one for one of those egg for an egghead course oh, or something. Yeah. Um, but I'm just gonna call it serving cover. There's a name for it. It's on. It's on the the. It was a Nux course. I'm gonna count down anyway. ten <laughs> seconds before the chat figures this out. Um, <laughs> someone go find out <laughs> um okay then what else uh like curtains kind of like you know oh, behind yeah, the curtains, curtains. Mm -hmm. or like the uh 
now I just thought of the Wizard of Oz, like the big floating head. Um, hey, that that counts. I like like the weirder these are, sometimes it's better. Um, like weird specific cultural references, but like ones that people mm. would get, like Wizard of Oz. Sometimes it's like good fertile ground. Uh, padlocks, masks. This is kind of I've never done like a a word association with a group of people before. This is fun. Um, I know <laughs> this is much more fun than me alone. Not coming up with <laughs> this, honestly. Yeah, I would have thought I would have been like I don't know mystery. Okay, that's probably good enough. Let's go. Um, what's a... well after this? We'll do a fun like filling this out. But then I'm going to show you guys a bunch of my like nerdy linguistics tools that I use when I get really stuck. Yeah. Um, which is fun because like they use a whole bunch of like machine learning algorithms to just like find patterns in language through by searching through masses of words. Anyway, we'll get to there. <laughs> uh, crochet. Oh, is that the th is what that is the that? thing? Oh, what, how do you pronounce it? C L O C H E. Is that right? Cloche. Interesting. Cloche. Cloche. Oh, so this is like a translucent yeah. cover. Um, oh, interesting. Oh, that's it. So we have a cloak. Um, interesting. In yeah. Okay. Oh, cloak. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, there were a couple other ones that came in. API tokens, oh, Ben. <laughs> so the, the chat has this like ongoing troll where they are always trying to get me to show my API tokens and I'm really bad at this. So I usually do. I spend an, well, they are a secret. <laughs> I spend an inordinate amount of time resetting API tokens. Uh, <laughs> let's see. G uh, gadgets, invisible ink. Ooh, that's, that's interesting. Ooh, that's good um, um oh cool okay so the cloche uh so angel is is helping us with the, that's the thing for the food it's the, the oh, like the gotcha. stainless steel thing cloche. um nice. the marauders map Ooh, that's good marauders map nice all right that's some good stuff down there um how about mm, something with was like community or like gathering in some way um i'm wondering if we can find things that might tie that in yeah um I'd like... game surprise because these are more these ones over here i'm thinking of more like secondary things. sure um but if there's a way to um combine those in somehow it'd be nice a, a big dining room table dining room table um <laughs> someone in the chat with the username, a big sandwich just said, my ears are burning. And that is really funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. So yeah, uh, I mean, gathering like, yeah, the big dining room table is cool. The, uh, the idea of like thread or kind of connecting the pieces. Um, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Um, uh, to anybody who's just joining, what we're doing right now is we're doing word association. We're going to take this and turn it into some illustration ideas. So we're, we're kind of going through, um, Maggie's process for, for how she designs, how she comes up with illustrations. Um, okay. So what, uh, what else do you think? Do, should we, should we keep going? Do you want to jump ahead? I think we're pretty good. Okay, I right. think we can move on. Like sometimes I spend too long on this, but it's probably more fun if we like jump into the next bit of it. Mm, okay, yeah. Um, I'm wondering now if I can switch to sharing my uh, main screen somehow. Yeah, I think you would just, if you just do it in Zoom, it should just work, I think. You might have to stop okay, sharing cool. on the. Oh yeah, on the, on the iPad, all right. Uh, we're gonna get techie here, all right. Um, stop share, look at that. Okay. And then share. Good, yeah. good. Okay. Peace. Yep. Ooh. Um, is that working? We can see your, uh, what I assume is your wallpaper on your desktop. Um, okay, cool. Uh, can you see that screen? We, I can see your mouse moving. Uh, so you can't see a browser window come up? No. Oh gosh. All right. Um, you might have to change what you're, what you're sharing. I, I usually just share the whole desktop and kind of minimize everything to, um, 
desktop one brave browser let's try that okay yeah Did we can work? see yep oh. now we can see the browser lovely okay so um we won't do too much searching in here because i want to move along but i just wanted to show some of my favorite like uh like word nerd tools mm. um so when i get really stuck um on brainstorming stuff i love using these so one of these is called one look thesaurus and so here i would type in you know mystery um and then it just gives me, um, I, I don't know how they calculate these, but associated words that it finds related to it. Um, enigma, secret, closed book, did your, little puzzle. Did you, I feel like it, uh, it like froze up on us because I'm still seeing the homepage of that. I can see your mouse, oh. I can see your mouse move. Oh, this is odd because I can see it on my iPad not responding. This is very strange. My screen and the stream did it open a different very different that's odd if you okay it's not working <laughs> if you click to a different tab does it work yeah i'm clicking to different tabs and it's not uh responding on the stream for some reason oh, like weird. My is weird weird all right you know what i'm gonna put a list of these in the notes afterwards um yes that's odd though okay okay and, and so to, to just as kind of like a general idea what what each of these things uh, is, is a, a either word association or it looks like you've got like something for etymology, um, which is mm -hmm. the, like the history of words. Um, yeah. So you can look up the origin of words and like what words they derived from and what words derive from them, which gives you a lot of good mapping, um, which, and you end up with really strange associations you wouldn't have thought okay. of. Okay. Um, but they make perfect sense conceptually because they are how we structure all our language. Cool. Um, and all of this is just getting into nerdy word metaphor stuff that like all our metaphorical associations like structure the way we think about the world. And that's how we can help explore ideas and how things interconnect, mm -hmm. how, why we think, you know, dark cloaks are related to mysteries and that sort of stuff. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. But um, the, that was a zoom fail. So we're just going to move back to, um, <laughs> to this. Okay. So I'm going to say stop share. I feel like that might've had to do with, um, uh, upgrading to Catalina because um, it, I think it didn't have Zoom permission. I, yeah, I have no idea. We'll we'll have to. I, I haven't done the Catalina upgrade yet because I saw um, Joel Hooks did a, a thing on it where it was like seven hours later. I hard reset. I'm like, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mine didn't go that badly, but um, <laughs> only in this. <laughs> That is a pretty dire outcome. Um, all right. Uh, yeah. So once I have a whole bunch of these words down, mm -hmm. um, ooh, now I'm trying to think, oh, how to do this. Usually, so usually what I would do at this point is um, start sketching either really uh, crappy icons, but I would usually at this point start collecting photo references. Okay. Um, uh, and that's where I now realize I have a, a page of pre-made photo references on my desktop, but I don't want to do all that switchy stuff again. Is it, um, is it something that you could um, like send in the chat and I could pull it up? Ooh, maybe. Uh, let's see if I can do that really fast. Um, okay, we're gonna, I'm loading things that you guys can't see, which makes this a boring live stream. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And save as um, so what I'm doing right now is I've put together a pre-made board in an app called Pure Ref, which is free. Um, and it's a really cool um, app that helps you lay out images in a, in a photo reference board. Okay. Um, and I am exporting it right now as a scene, which just means a giant JPEG. Um, and then I'm going to send that through Zoom. Okay. Um, export. Okay. Now zoom. In chat, do you think? Yeah, just you. If you just put it in the chat, I think I can, I can pull it up. Okay, lovely. Open. Okay, yeah, that's being sent through. So it's essentially just going to be a big canvas that's like full of sandwiches. Perfect. Let's see if you can open that one up. Okay, I am opening it and get 
get this in the viewport here. Let's see, is it going to let me do... Flash it over? Because, yeah, um, it's one of those odd things, right, where sometimes people get a bit, like... I don't know where this came from. Some people think you like shouldn't look at photo references when you're drawing things, which to me sounds uh, the equivalent of saying you shouldn't read the docs if you're trying to learn a framework. Um, because like everything we draw is based on reality, and and you know the the vast number of photo mm -hmm. references on the internet are what you would use to learn what I what I think of as like the physical language of a certain thing. So like sandwiches have very particular shape to them and a very particular visual language right. that we're going to be using to play with. Um, so it's really important to have a really wide variety of photo references of all sorts of sandwiches and all the things that go along with them, like knives and pickles and, um, you know, um, what else do we have? Cocktail swords. Yeah. Um, so I might not have all of those in there, but I know in that uh, reference file I have at least a good number of them that give us sort of a baseline for um, sandwich references. Yeah. Okay, so I mean this, yeah, the, and these are all very, uh, I mean, they, they're very sandwichy, which is, I think, a good thing. Um, yeah. And then there's some, fun, oh, some like stuff about secrets and mysteries. I had pulled up some very cheesy generic photo um, graphs of like things that responded to like secret or mystery or magic. Um, but mostly I think focusing on the sandwich visuals mm. would be useful. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, so yeah, so this is what you're going to be looking at as you start sketching, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to um, flip back over to your iPad then. Cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. So I have those up on the screen. So that the, you need to have an idea of what I'm sort of looking at as I'm drawing and I'm not just inventing it out of my head. I actually have a terrible visual memory, funnily enough, uh, and rely heavily on photo reference for a lot of things. Mm. <laughs> um, so yeah, so with these, um, we're going to look at our word list, and now we're trying to make connections between things. And this is where the, the playful bit of it really comes in, um, is I use a, a system called uh, Scamper, S-C-A-M-P-E-R. Uh, and it was, I think Alex Osborne was one of the guys who invented it. Anyway, he's like, you know, creative thinking sort of gurus. Um, and it stands for Substitute, Combine, Adapt, uh, maximize or minimize, put to other uses, eliminate and rearrange. And it's essentially just like ways of thinking about ways to manipulate and change things. Okay. Uh, so for S, substitute, we might say like, how could I take this sandwich here and substitute something from our secrets list into it? Um, oh. Or we're just trying to connect things up in odd ways and think about how to play with them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. No, that, yeah, that so, totally makes sense. All right. So I might look at curtains over here. Cool. Um, and um, think about like, okay, how could I make curtains into a sandwich? Like, could the lettuce be curtains? Um, or magic trick, right? Like, how could, how could I make this into a cover somehow? Um, sealed wax. Yeah, I'm, so now I'm just going to start sketching um, sandwichy shapes and thinking about ways to make this mystery related. Uh, and here's a fun note on sketching. Everything's a box, including a sandwich. Like everything <laughs> in the world is a box, literally. Like there's nothing you cannot fit into like a basic box that looks like this. Um, so if you learn to draw boxes really well, um, you can draw almost anything. Like... This, and then, you know, you just like cut off bits of sides of it if you want and like extend it out to be different things. Uh, everything's just a series of boxes. So, I mean, sandwiches especially, right? That's just like, it's a box. It's very much a box, yeah. It's very boxy. I mean, it could also be a cylinder, but like, uh, this is like the more, you know, uh, stiff version of it. Um, right. And you loosen it up afterwards. But right, like the two bits of, of bread are, are boxes. Um, and then you just like stick like lettuce in the middle, you know. Um, and then like a tomato maybe in there. And like some, some folded deli meat or something. Um, 
and yeah, I tend to sketch a bit construction-y and rough, and then afterwards you'll sort of like take the eraser, Ooh. except you'll take a really light eraser at a lower opacity and sort of like drop it down a bit okay. and then do a better version on top. So I'll do that a lot. Oh, and yeah. So that so when I have sketched, what I always do is use like a, a light blue pencil for my crappy sketch, and then I'll start a new layer and like draw on top of it. Uh, spe so speaking of which, I should probably mention um, so I also have a, an iPad. Oh yeah. We can swap over to you. <laughs> I, uh, it, I have the Apple pencil. And so what I am going to do is while you're doing your, your sketches, I should, I will start playing with sketches also. Um, lovely. Yeah. This is fun. I like doing the sketch back. And okay. Forth. And so I'm going to, I'm going to go over to, where was it here? And then I'm going to switch this thing over like that. All right. And so now I'm just going to create a new thing. And you just said make it huge. What was the size that you, well, whatever. It's oh, it's the I size that it big. is. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How do you do, wait, where's the double tap? Oh, um, if you tap with two fingers, it'll undo it. And if you tap with three, it'll redo it. I don't think, I think I have an old pencil. It's not doing the switch to... To... Oh, yeah, you do need to have the more updated pencil that doesn't have the USB bit on the end to be able to do the double tap. Uh, well, that's okay. I know. All right. I know. So um, <laughs> it's okay. So uh, yeah, so I, I have the, the uh, apparently the less cool Apple pencil, um, but I have my, my drawing surface and I can just kind of sketch away. So, oh, that's so cool, the double tap to undo thing. Um, it's fun. Okay, so I'll just kind of talk through what I'm doing. And while you're sketching away, so this is going to be great, because it, this is going to be like one of those things where, uh, you know, you've, you've got like a professional chef, and then, a, and then somebody who would be on like nailed it on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, this is what it should have looked like. And this is what you did. <laughs> well, okay. So. The beauty, though, of the uh, the brainstorming phase is um, it's all about just the idea and the interesting combination. So even if you do, like, the most rubbish sketch, right, with, like, no straight lines and, like, really wonky bits of bread, as long as there's, like, an interesting idea underneath it, we can always, like, refine it on top. So I'm drawing my box right now. Oh, you got a box going I, on? I got, yeah, a, next I got a box. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And if I want to take some of our ideas... Mm -hmm. And let's see, All right, yeah, I'm going to take a, do like some bread. This seems like it's going to look like bread. Go like that. Okay. Seems bready. Bready enough? Yeah, I would, I would definitely eat that. Okay. <laughs> and then I want to draw like some cheese on there. Put the cheese on the bottom just to really upset a couple people. <laughs> Let's see, that cheese is gonna go back that way. Right, okay. All right, um, and then after the cheese comes, let's see, what's our mystery? We've got invisible ink padlocks, question marks. Um, I want to try and get the welted, mel melted wax seal on there somehow. That just seems interesting to me. I'm trying that to is a really it. cool idea. I know, remixed into a sandwich. Because you just think, well, if I draw like a wax seal on a sandwich, that immediately becomes inedible is the issue. Yeah. Um, I guess you could try to do it as like an envelope or something. Yeah, I'm thinking of like a wrapped Subway sandwich. And then oh, seal on the what a, yes, that is an awesome idea. Yeah, I think of like the, the benefit of the fact that sandwiches come wrapped really, really plays in for us here that we're trying to say, you know, things that we, we don't know what is inside. Yeah, it opens some, opens some doors for sure. see. Okay. All 
All right, so then I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to switch to something. Or I guess I should probably just like sketch for a while, huh? Let's, let's see. I, I find just like a full page of crap sketches is usually like the best starting point. Um, and I liked your tip about the the blue pencil. I do that too usually. It like comes from uh, animation history where they used to do their roughs in light blue pencil and then they would put a piece of paper over the top uh -huh. and then go in with darker graphite um, and it's sort of carried over into the digital world where everyone still does all their sketches in light blue um, but it's, it looks good so you know <laughs> yeah I never really considered there was like provenance there I just kind of somebody showed me that once and I was like okay it sounds good <laughs> they knew what they were talking about <laughs> good legacy to it <laughs> okay so I'm going to draw a long box and this and that's that's also a reference i should mention that if anyone does want some sort of uh like useful uh, drawing um tutorials like if you want to get more into drawing and improving it there's a website called draw a box um and it just has all these fantastic tutorials about how everything fits into a box and it like teaches you constructive drawing techniques that uh what my whole style is based on oh cool um, and it's free it's a fantastic resource, so um, we'll put that in the show notes too. But draw a box is a really good one. Yeah, I, that's very useful. Okay, so I'm gonna try. I want to do like. Where was my brush size? Take it down. So I want to try. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a stab at this whole like wrapped wax seal thing too, because that sounds really cool and fun. I know I'm mostly doing sandwich shapes, but I'm also realizing sometimes the um, the paraphernalia that comes along with um, objects is sometimes uh, a really like fertile place to look for ideas too. So for sandwiches, thinking of ways I could do yeah the lunch box as some sort of hiding container or the mm. um, the picnic basket was an interesting one. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to get some lettuce in this thing. Right, that seems good, and then we can do some like some tomatoes. Good. Also, if anyone in the chat is watching us do this and be like, "Those are all crap ideas," I have a much better one. Like, definitely, like sketch it out and post it. Yeah, be fantastic. Fire away. Let's let's collaboratively design this thing. My my goal is really with Secret Sandwich. Um, is to just overcomplicate it as much as possible. So as many cooks as we can get in the kitchen, I think is a good... I want, I want everyone's opinion on this logo and what color it should be. <laughs> please, please do that. Um, all right, so this is going to be like my sandwich. And then I'm going to take... This is like a wrap around the sandwich. Oops. That's going to come out like this, and kind of be over here. And then, oh, there's a, there's a question. Um, so Maggie, the illustrations you did at Gatsby Days, were those done completely during the sessions or did you do editing afterwards? I definitely did editing afterwards. So this is a funny thing with uh, where I make a lot of uh, sketch notes quote unquote, at events and for um, egghead courses, I'm making a lot of them now. But uh, I have a very particular approach to sketch notes where I like to think of them more as illustrated notes because I definitely don't do them like um, completely live, like in real time. I like sort of doing rough versions um, or like I'll get like 70% of them done. Like I had at the end of Gatsby days, like 70% of those done. Okay. But then I wanted to go back and like refine certain things and add detail in areas that felt like it was worth fleshing them out. Mm. Uh, so I definitely do extra work and editing every time I make sketch notes. It just feels like most of the time the information is worth digging into and really explaining well instead of just like really fast sketch notes, which I gotcha. have value to them. But a lot of people do the quick version and I like the more, I always like the more slightly detailed version of things. <laughs> yeah, that seems that seems on brand for you. Yeah, <laughs> I've had to do a lot of work to just be like, nope, it's done. Like, no more perfectionism. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, this is such conferences a conferences I've done that uh, I've had to do the sketch notes like live on site, and honestly, it's like not worth the cortisol levels that I have to endure to like get it done on. Time. It was it's too stressful. 
yeah you just like you just like have no sense of time or like anyone around you you're just in like pure focus panic mode for an eight hour stretch <laughs> you know i watched um i went to js heroes last year or the, oh my god it was this year it's been a long year um <laughs> and at js heroes there was a woman whose name i'm forgetting i think magdalena no, that's not right. If anybody remembers, please correct me in the chat. But she did sketch notes all day for the entire event. And she did an incredible job. But like, I can't imagine she didn't go home and just sleep for a week and a half after that. Because holy crap, that seemed just like high impact. You know, sometimes I, I go to events and I live tweet. And by the end of live tweeting for a day and a half, I'm ready to just <laughs> like roll myself up in, in a burrito with an additional burrito to eat and just like stay there for a week. Um, so, you know, yeah. <laughs> something more intense than live tweeting has got to take just all of that out of you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. After a day of conference sketch noting, I am completely useless. It's like I can't find the door. Like, I can't string together a sentence. Like, I'm terrible at, at being social at events where I'm sketchnoting because I just have no brain cells left at coffee hour to, like, make small talk. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and that's too bad, too, right? Like, I, I always feel bad for people who have really high-impact jobs at conferences because I've always felt like the most rewarding part of being at a conference is the, the social interaction part, right? So if you attend a conference but you're so stressed out the whole time that you're too tired to be able to like participate in the social part i feel like that really yeah. just that leaves you that's no fun yeah yeah honestly i stopped um sketch noting conferences that i really want to be at uh mentally present at <laughs> mm. uh and instead i just go to them and like i might draw for fun like gatsby days was that i was just sort of like kind of half drawing didn't draw all the talk, you know, sort of sure. phoning it in. Because uh, I mostly wanted to just chat to people. Um, and I met so many lovely people there. Um, so it was definitely worth not sort of going full out on them. Yeah. that's. I, I feel like a huge amount of my career is due to, like, meeting people at conferences and, and the relationships that have grown out of that. And so I think it would be, yeah, it would be really... Um, Madalena, not Magdalena. Yeah. Um, yeah, Madalena Tantaro. She did an absolutely incredible job on the um, the live, like the sketch notes from JS Heroes. It was such a, such a cool thing to see because they did it, um, the way they did it, which made it even more stressful, is that the talk was on the main stage with the, the slides. And then off to the right, there was another projector sharing her iPad screen. And so you could watch her draw the live, the sketch notes as the event was happening. It was, uh, it, yeah, the whole thing gave me anxiety to think about, but she did such a, yeah. good, such a, such a good job. I'm so impressed by the sketch notes that can do that live stuff. I've had conferences ask me if I'd be willing to do it before. And I've always just been like, I'm not your person. Let me send you people who could do that. Cause I am too slow and too obsessed <laughs> to be live streamed while I'm drawing. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So I have one that I... Have you got some good sandwiches? I mean, I have one sandwich that I'm feeling pretty proud of right now. Um, I'm excited to see this. But I, I'm not sure. Well, I guess we'll see. We'll find out. <laughs> the good thing is there's no way to do it wrong. I mean, a big page of bad ideas just tells you all the things you're not going to do. That is a good, I, I feel like that's just a good life lesson in general is, you know, like you don't really have failures. You just have a big list of, hey, don't do that again, which is, that is information and yeah. more information is a good thing. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to call that about as sketchy as I can get before I start trying to finalize it. Um, what else should we do? What else is on our, we had like. A sandwich in a trench coat with a hat? That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Wait, a sandwich in a trench coat and a hat? Right. Yeah. See, this is where I'm I'm Googling. Trench coat um hat. How would I draw that? That would be like a start with a box. Nice. Okay. Good move. 
And then it's going to have like a, so the trench coat has a cut like this, right? And then it's got the big lapels, I think. Is that right? And then it's got like the center on the waist. I think. Feeling like I'm getting this very wrong. <laughs> Drawing a trench coat from memory is maybe not something I should have taken on. Um, well, drawing anything from memory, this is the funny thing, is like, um, once you start drawing so much, you start to realize just how terrible our visual memories are, because you think, how many sandwiches have we all seen in our lives, or how many times have we seen trench coats, lamp posts, almost anything? Mm -hmm. And you sit down to try and draw it, and you suddenly just go, I, I don't even know, like, the beginnings of any of the details. Like, I'm just getting a vague shape here. And then you look up the photo reference, and you're like, oh, yeah, well, of course it has, like, a light bulb in it. Of course it has a top, you know? Let's see. So is <laughs> this... All right, Chad, help me out with this since you're watching along. Is this a, like, Subway sandwich vertically, or is this, like... No, it's not. It's totally not. How did? What should I do? Mm, three triangle sandwiches trying to be his. <laughs> it's three. Yeah, three triangle sandwiches in a trench coat trying to be a sub. That's uh, that's really funny. <laughs> is that what you're going on? Well, that's what that's what the chat suggested, which I think is is a really funny idea. Um, <laughs> okay, so this is our like here and then it would have like the secret squirrel hat which i think kind of looked like this right it was something like that i think that was it and then the eyes came out like this that's all right and then that means that we need like some bread in here so that it actually looks like a sandwich since i haven't drawn anything sandwichy yet okay and then do like some lettuce on oh, the lettuce makes it look like it has a beard this is a weird this is a weird thing that, that we've done um that sounds like a good substitute <laughs> if, you can, if you're substituting lettuce for beards or, or that would be a combine i think Combine the lettuce and the beard into one. Oh man, that's a that's a this is an odd thing that's happening, but let's roll. I'm really excited to see this at the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, I kind of want to I want to take another crack at that because I think that the the lettuce beard could be funnier. Thank you for linking to an image of Secret Squirrel so that it doesn't look like I'm just drawing this completely anthropomorphic weird hat for no reason. So it was called Super Secret Secret Squirrel? Was that the name? Yeah, and it was uh, it was like this kind of, it was kind of like Get Smart, like a, an incompetent secret agent. Um, and he had a, a sidekick named Morocco Mole, who was like, uh, it was, a, it, the whole thing was very goofy, but it was really fun. Um, okay, so what if he's got, like, the bread? Oh, I know. I've just looked it up, and now I know what this is. I've never seen the show, but now I see that there's a reference to this episode. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's give him a real, like, lettuce beard. And then, like, maybe a tomato on top of that to give it some... This is this is a terrible idea. <laughs> there are no bad ideas. <laughs> then take the trench coat out. I'm impressed to find out how you put a trench coat on a on a sandwich because even thinking it through I'm just like put a trench coat on the sandwich. <laughs> 
quite the challenge. No. No. Have you found yourself using the iPad to draw much since you've got it? I've done limited drawing on the, the iPad. I actually really like to draw. Um, I used to do it a lot. And then just, well, we have a couple problems. So first, uh, Marissa and I share an iPad, which is like not a, it, it, it tends to not be super conducive for actually using it because, uh, you know, you never want to dominate it. Um, right, right. and so I would like want to keep it in my office, but then I feel bad because, you know, she can't use it, but then it's really hard to justify purchasing two iPads because they cost as much as computers now. Um, yeah. so I don't know. I feel like that's a, a little bit of a, although I recently got one of the minis, which are quite a bit cheaper, mm. um, for, mostly for reading and highlighting and sketching on the two, um, it's fantastic, but yeah, it does. It does at least bring the price down a bit because yeah, fully fledged iPad Pro is uh, an absurdly expensive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they're like, um, they're yeah. It's kind of, it's a lot. Uh, this would be a good emote, actually. I should totally make this, this uh, this trench coat one into a, into an emote for Twitch. That'd be funny. Um, okay, so then, what else can we do? All right, chat. What am I drawing next? We've got trench coat sandwich, um, and then Maggie, what, it, like, feel free to just jump in at any point that you're ready to move on. We're about two thirds of the way through the stream, so we probably it, wait. We got about right. thirty minutes left. Okay, okay. Um, well, yeah, let's let's take a look at what we have going on so okay. far. Um, so yeah, uh, is there a way for me to see what you have? Why well, can just pull up this? Yeah, I think if you time. pull up Twitch, will probably be the fastest way to do it. Uh, got it going on. Oh, nice. <laughs> I love these. <laughs> so this one, I was like, what if it was, uh, like whatever was in the middle was a dotted line. So kind of like a blank space instead of, yeah. uh, an actual sandwich material. And then this one was, uh, it, what it was supposed to look like. And I feel like I kind of missed the mark on it was the sandwich was wrapped in paper, but the paper was kind of shaped like an envelope to have the wax seal. Um, so that was kind of what I was hoping for here was that this would look like a sealed envelope with that wax seal on it. Um, yeah. and then these, these, these goofy fellas down here, uh, this one, not quite sure what happened. This one though, I, I it's like that. a, it's like a tomato <laughs> for a mouth and then like the lettuce for the beard. And this is the, the bread and then the secret squirrel hat. So it's like a very, it's so good. <laughs> I love that's like better than I would be able to do because see I would have gotten obsessed with like am I getting the trench coat folds and shapes right but and it would have gotten in the way of actually drawing it that is that is really good <laughs> yeah th this is this is very much like uh like once when I was a kid I used to copy Garfield cartoons that was like mm -hmm. my very first intro and I learned details are too hard so don't bother <laughs> That is actually, once you learn that secret in drawing, how to draw fewer details, that's when stuff really gets much better. Like I've had so many instructors that just say like the more, the simpler you can make it, the better you are as an artist. Like that's one of the principles. Okay. So I'm going to switch back over to yours. Cool. Um, mine is much less impressive. Now I'm trying to organize. Things oh, I love area. that mask on a sandwich though. That is so cool. So we have mask sandwich happening. Um, and that was when I looked up the secret, mm. secret, uh, squirrel guy, um, a lunch box and then like some sort of subway sandwich with the seal question mark, the cocktail sword. I had the same idea of like, if you, if we just had two bits of, um, bread and there's nothing in the middle yeah, or like dark matter in the middle. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I didn't, but, um, yeah, I didn't have as many, but then I also, I have to admit at this point, 
I cheated on this whole um, exercise where I have a whole page of backup sketches I did in case I wasn't going to be very good at brainstorming on the stream, as has happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. I like that mask is really kind of making my day right now. Um, but I love these. But I, <laughs> that being said, I 100% want to see your other page of sketches. So um, one I had done before. Um, so this was like me, I maybe took uh, an hour and just like did the same process we just went okay. through. Um, but just me jamming on it. Um, well, I had only brainstormed sandwich and secret. Okay. A um, couple keywords. Uh, and then, oh, and this is me. I was going to, this was to remind me to explain that I said everything can be a box. But then there's also a rule that everything is one of seven shapes. Mm. And it's um, a cube, a sphere, a cylinder, a pyramid, cone, or a ribbon, or prism. Yeah, seven. Um, so you can make almost l literally draw anything in the entire world by combining those shapes in different ways. Um, and so, and you can see it in a lot of my drawings, like everything starts as a cylinder or a box and then it just becomes a sandwich or like a react machine mm -hmm. <laughs> um so a couple going on here i was trying to do like peanut butter and jelly but is that it's like dark star jam or something that was oh. my idea um uh, this is a sandwich shaped like a question mark which didn't turn out that well i i mean uh, it's super fun though <laughs> um this one's very similar to what you were thinking of of, of leaving the the middle empty mm. but then just like a giant question mark on the front uh this is more of like strange dark secret jam mm -hmm. um we always have the option of going more typographic with it with this one right here yeah um just writing secret sandwich in the middle of two bits of bread and it's like it's if the the bit in the middle is that um Oh, uh, there's that little, that this is sort of like a cocktail flag, this thing, but like somehow putting a question mark or something on it. Uh, same thing with the wrapper and the the seal there. Although I wasn't thinking of wax seal when I did this one. It was just like a sticker. Yeah. I mean, but that, so that um, actually, it's, it's funny because like, even with the whole chat in here, we kind of converged on some of the same ideas, uh, which I think mm -hmm. is really interesting. It's, it's, it's really cool to see how the creative process, like, yes, it's unbounded, but it tends to lead down some pathways, right? Yeah, yeah, which which makes sense, right? It's like sort of like, uh, sometimes we're trying to not get at the cliche of things, but you want when someone looks at this for them to immediately be like, oh, like it's about secret sandwiches, mm -hmm. like obviously. Um, like you don't want to be so clever that they're like that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, and the rest of this is just sandwiches. Um, that was mostly me like learning sandwich shapes. Oh, okay. So like usually when I start sketching, I'll just like draw a whole bunch of basics of whatever the thing is so that I'm like, oh. okay, I have basic shapes learned for what lettuce and bread and that sort of thing looks like. Smart. So then you, you're you not uh, you're not trying to learn two things at once. You already kind of get the basics. So you're not yes. trying to both learn how to draw a sandwich and try to change what sandwiches are made of. Exactly. It's exactly the same as like learning the syntax of a new framework before you start trying to like mm -hmm. push the edges of it and, and learn to do new things with it. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah. Well, um, super cool. So, yeah. Um, so now what we have, right, is our little collection of sketch ideas. And usually what I would do at this point is pick out like the three to four that I like the most or mm -hmm. think are the most promising or want to move forward with. Um, so from here, wait, you were saying you liked, well, the mask one on the other page was for sure good. These two feel a little bit promising to me, mm -hmm. uh, the secret sandwich one. And what I'm just doing here is I'm just selecting. Um, I think the with the um, the other question mark, like the actual sandwich shaped like a question mark, I actually think that's yeah. really fun. Um, mm -hmm. And like a spin that we could do on that too is like if, if the the hook of the question mark was normal but then the dot was a sandwich you could still do that type Ooh. of perspective but you wouldn't have oh, to get really cool yeah like just something you know kind of kind of fun like that um yeah i like that yeah, yeah these are all good um, though it's... so what i'm gonna do here is i'm just gonna cut these and then i'm gonna hop over to the other one and paste them in so we have them all in one page. oh smart okay paste um 
And then, we're, okay, wait, I'm going to see if we can do some crazy tech thing here. Can you switch over to your iPad really quick? Yes. I'm going to screenshot it and then copy and paste it onto my iPad. We're just okay. going to get meta on meta here. Let's do it. Uh, so <laughs> zoom out a bit. Oh, wait, I got to do that on um, here. I'm like trying to zoom out of my my computer. Let's see that. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Get it as big as we can without. Okay, how about that? That looks that looks really good. Um, and now I'm going to screenshot, copy that, and then I love the Mac system. I'm just going to now paste that in. Wait, did that just work? Oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> I know technology is good sometimes. <laughs> Um, so this is cool. So we have all sorts of like promising options here. I like the mask. Um, Holy buckets. Did that just work? I'll usually, yeah, move crappy ones off to the side and just sort of rearrange things. Uh, oh, another thing I like to do is you can flip your canvas in Procreate. Oh, not vertically. I didn't break it. Um, and it just makes you see it suddenly like it's a brand new image. It makes your brain like break from what it was used to oh. and you start to see mistakes you might have made or other ways you could redraw these um smart because these these are all just like idea sketches and in terms of composition and and shapes these will probably change quite a lot to a final uh -huh. but most of what we're after here is just like making sure we have the idea of secret sandwich encompassed in one of these sketches yeah um so actually we could do this with uh I loved your idea of the of the question mark that has sandwich at the end of it, though. I want to see if I can quickly do that one. Yeah, I would love to watch you actually draw one of these because I feel like we kind of we came back for the magic, right? Um, <laughs> and everybody got to see me uh, fumble through my my boxes. <laughs> they turned out so well, though. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about this question mark, but it'll do for now. Um, and then we want a sandwich on the end of this thing. I'm just going to pop some sandwich refs so I have something to work off here. Like a top-down sandwich of some sort. And these guys look good. I love that. that this, is, this, this thing at the end here is the sandwich. See, this is going to be where you get into shape balance a bit. Like a question mark is it's so tall. And this is why I'm always thinking in terms of like every logo on the web always is going to end up needing to fit in a little square because mm. you have favicons and you have icons. And so everything defaults to being a square composition, which is fine. It just means you have to like navigate shape balance a little bit. Sometimes. Right. Um, this is a really like generic, just sandwichy shape here. And there's like lettuce and bits sticking out of it. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of, so to fit it inside a square, I'm thinking it like it could go sideways or this way. The, and the might... perspective could get more extreme too. Yeah, yeah, that, that sort of thing where, um, ooh, here's a fun trick. All right, I'm gonna duplicate this. This is called like, quick and dirty perspective here. Uh, you can transform objects in Procreate. Oh, like this. yeah. And they'll give you a really uh, rough, like, and then you can just extend it downwards. Mm -hmm. um, this is like a 3D program sort of trick. Um, as if it could be a 3D question mark, and then our sandwich would come down like this. It's a box. Look at that. But yeah, see, that's great because then like you could just throw a, a tablecloth or something under it or a cutting board and now it fits in that square space. Mm -hmm. uh, things in the middle here. We're just going to, this is <laughs> this is when I'm like, oh, I'll figure out that detail yeah. later. I just put like a dark blob in. <laughs> there's, there's a bit of a joke among illustrators, like hands are really hard to draw. And usually when you muck up someone's hand, you're just like, mm, put some black gloves yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, honestly like i draw a lot of mittens because i can't be bothered to to draw fingers yeah yeah well the same happens with feet feet are really hard and you're like mm, they're wearing shoes they don't have feet. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah make this sandwich 
social and more introspective here. It is really incredible to watch how quickly this comes together and like looks like a sandwich. Like I, what's interesting is that your drawings look like something that I would actually want to eat. Like if you drew a sandwich for like a restaurant menu or something, I would be really excited about it. Whereas mine, I'm kind of like, I don't know, that looks a little too, uh, I don't know what's going on at that sandwich. I mean, you shouldn't eat that. That looks like it maybe got dropped on the ground. So. <laughs> oh, good. Um, it's funny. Food is one of those actually really hard ones to draw. It's really difficult to make it look, yeah, like not not uh, creepy. It's a little bit like the same of drawing humans. Oh, like yeah. A too sensitive to food. Um, that it's really easy to make it just look like weird and creepy. You like hit that uncanny valley. Exactly. Yeah. Um, or yeah, just texture on food. It gets so like detailed so mm. fast that it's really difficult to, to draw that without the, the illustration being too busy. Um, oh, and here's another trick. Sometimes it's like, I want us to see the edge of this um, supposedly 3D question mark. Uh -huh. uh, and what I'll do is I'll just like pick a slightly lighter gray uh, and then, like, just touch the edges like Smart. this. Smart. So we still don't. So we still get this like solid black, um, you know, question mark in without like distracting white lines in the middle. But we still get to see that it's a three D shape. Mm -hmm. um, and for finals, I'll always end up doing more uh, lighting work uh, to make that three D shape a bit more obvious. So we might say if the light direction is coming from this way. You know, this side's going to be in light, so then we'll get this nice 3D effect. Um, oh, yeah. This bit here is going to catch the light, and that'll give us that corner will pop out. Um, so there's always ways to, like, show things um, without needing to, like, have all the lines be black and white. Sure. Yeah. Sandwich. So that's... Yeah, that doesn't look great now that I stand back and look at it. But I like the idea. It's going somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's super yeah. cool. Like I and I think the you know, the the concept is there. Um Yeah, it's just going to need some shape play to figure out how to make this work. Yeah, I, I think if it like if it were me, I'd probably uh skew it the other way to leave the opening toward the viewer. Um Oh, yeah, you're right. Cuz it like flip the question mark yeah because then it then you you get a little more like kind of uh i guess the 3d like dynamism of it i what's the word i'm looking for is kind of in front of you as opposed to hidden from you yeah 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 the yeah face side facing you mm. um and then the sandwich would be here that sort of thing yeah yeah i like that idea though i know this is where one of those where like sometimes i know i hit on a good concept but you know you're just going to need to do a little bit of like design mm -hmm. and shaping work to make it work um but i like that yeah although i will say like out of out of all these the most visually striking by by a pretty large margin to me is the the sandwich with the mask on um because it's just such a it's such a simple thing and it just makes such a good like i just i love that um yeah. but the whole yeah the whole thing is incredible like it's and it's fun because um you can see how just in doing this, like if this was going to be a real project, like a, a serious thing that, that had a lot of visual identity, um, we could pull multiple concepts out of this. Like, you know, we could do as part of the marketing copy, maybe we could play with this idea of like a lunch pail with a question mark on it or play with these ideas of like wrappers and, and the, the cocktail flags and, you know, the, all that stuff could get pulled into the design even if it wasn't part of the like identity illustration, which I think is really, and it's just cool how most of that just kind of fell out of, of playing around. Yeah, like uh, that is definitely, whenever I'm working on projects that are like a microsite mm -hmm. um, where you're doing a single main logo illustration, but then you're going to have, you know, spot illustrations in the footer mm. and in the uh, email newsletter sign up confirmation page and um, on the pricing table, you know, there's all sorts of different um, places where you can add in small bits and pieces. And so that's exactly where you would pull out things like a single tomato and a pickle and put them on um, or a tiny cocktail flag. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's just like you're just um, compiling ingredients and then you're just going to like scatter them around the, the identity of the site. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, this is super fun. So, uh, I mean, obviously we're not gonna get to a final here today, but um, for like <laughs> from here, 
is this mm-hmm. kind of where you would pick out one or two winners and then go yeah. deeper or yeah so i would probably pick out um the mask sandwich guy um and some if i could make the question mark work somehow so usually what i would do now is i would take uh the top two to three choices and then do a few iteration sketches off them so that's where you know you take the layer uh drop the opacity down here um and sketch over the top mm-hmm. uh more refined versions um and then once i had a sketch that was a lot more solid and like felt like it had good design to it i then bring it into adobe illustrator uh, and do vector work over the top. And you're still even then tweaking uh, shape composition, making sure everything balances, sure. making sure everything's clean and looks good. Um, and yeah, so so that would be what I would do next. And we can post updates to the project on um, Twitter and stuff. I yeah, suppose. that would be super fun, I think. Um, and we're going to keep doing, I, I think the the goal, like kind of a an unofficial goal for me here is to to build the entire Secret Sandwich product as uh, just a series of live streams. So for example, I think Joel and uh, Joel Hooks and I are gonna get together and work on some of the uh, the website stuff. And then I have some some ideas to implement different things that, that Marissa and I talked about in the workflows um, that I'm just gonna try to pull in people from the community to, to talk about how we could do that. Uh, like I want people to be able to, to text the photos from their events to their event and have them show up on the website. And I think, Ooh. I think you can do that with Twilio. So I'm going to talk to Nathaniel Okenwa and have him help me. Hopefully I like, I don't, I, he, I haven't talked to him at all about this, but I'm hoping that he's up for it and we can build that functionality out and just all sorts of things like that. You know, maybe talk to the Auth0 team about adding authentication or, or whatever. Um, mm. But yeah, lots and lots of cool things that we can do with this. And the idea is to kind of just run this as a, 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 let's build the whole thing in public and see how it goes. So ongoing updates mm-hmm. through the, the Learn with Jason um, Twitter account. Uh, you know, obviously subscribe here on Twitch, uh, follow on Twitch to, to get uh, all, of, all the things, that, not just Secret Sandwich, but like all the things that we've got coming up. Um, so at that point, I think maybe we should probably start wrapping up here. Is there anything else that you want to cover before we start breaking down? No, I think I think we got most of it in um, without having to dive too deep into like nerdy conceptual stuff. Um, and but one thing I can do is while I keep developing these and I can take it into Adobe Illustrator, I can um, record my screen and speed it up because it's going to be like painfully slow and boring otherwise. Oh like, no yeah, yeah like the the time all the, the time lapses. I would yeah. I would love to see that. Like I I think those are so cool to watch, um, and they're really really fun to see. So yeah, thank you so much for coming on. Um, Maggie, where should people go if they want to see more of your stuff? Like, No, this will work, this will work. Yes. Uh, Twitter is probably where I post most things or, or things that are really interesting because it's like sketch notes and uh, work in progress sort of stuff. Okay. I also have an Instagram. I uh, occasionally remember to update, but probably not that often. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I'm going to say Twitter is probably the best. And then um, uh, Egghead really is like most of where, you know, things that are finished and, and ready to be looked at get, get put up. <laughs> yeah, so definitely go go check all that stuff out, like the, the, the work. Um... Oof, duh. All right. So oh, that's and, exciting. Uh, sorry, I forgot another one. Uh, illustrated.dev is another site that I run where Ooh. I explain programming concepts through illustration. There's, I call them like illustrated essays or illustrated explainers. Um, and I'm posting all my sketch notes on there. I'm going to do a, the post that follows up from this on there. Oh, very Probably cool. Probably should have mentioned that. Yeah, no, this sounds <laughs> uh, amazing. What so, the fork yeah. is the React virtual? I love that. Which <laughs> is a good question. I mean, I didn't know, so I drew it. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this is incredible. So this is, uh, this is going to be super useful for anybody who is a visual learner, I think. Um, mm. Awesome. Well, Maggie, thank you so much for coming on. And uh, to everybody... You know, thank you so much for watching along with us. Uh, this was su- Thanks. super, super fun. Um, I, if you want to see more non-dev content, like, let me know. Uh, we, we've done music. Now we've done drawing. Uh, I've done a little bit of like Adobe Premiere fumbling around. Um, if there's something that you want to see done, uh, I am also looking into doing food. I really do want to set up like a, a <laughs> kitchen studio, but I, I need, there's a lot to happen before that works. Um, but yeah. Maggie, thank you very much. Everybody, 
Thanks thank for you for having me. This is fun. Yeah, thank you for watching, and we will see y'all next time. Uh, stay tuned, and we are gonna raid. <laughs>